in today's video I'm going to show you how I pipe my version of a chrysanthemum. Sorry if the camera's bobbling a bit, I'm leaning on my table. Anyways, so today the tips I'm going to use is a number 80, which is a smile tip as I call it. That's that one. And you can see. And also I've got a round nozzle 3A. Now I'm doing white chrysanthemums today. So um the colouring I'm using is this ingenious edibles icing and frosting white now which is really good so first of all we'll take our cupcake and we always always pipe on a frozen cupcake it helps the addition um of the petals I think I've mentioned that in previous videos so what we're going to do is flat ice this cupcake so we don't get any crumbs in the nozzle so we want to spread it all over evenly. This cupcake is a vegan cupcake that I've used. I will actually be uploading a video soon of how to make my vegan cupcakes. Because obviously I get asked for a lot of um, either vegan or gluten-free. Well, I don't actually say gluten-free, I say free from because I haven't got a fully gluten-free kitchen. So there we go, that's nicely flat iced. As you can see, the, the buttercream's actually stiffened up straight away on that because the cupcake is frozen. Right, so we're going to take our 3A, which is this round nozzle, and we're just going to pipe a little blob in the middle, like so. A little bit too tall. And then we take our number 81. Now these flowers can be a bit of a wrist colour, but they do make a lovely addition to a bouquet. So what we're going to do is you put your, you want the smile tip facing towards you. So this groove is coming towards you. So we're going to start by piping upwards like so. Obviously this is a white, white one. I'm not sure whether you can see that so there's your petals now make sure you connect with the bottom of the cupcake and pull up we're going to go around a few times on this just to get that center of the chrysanthemum as you can see it's like opening up a little bit so you can see you've got like a um nice center formed now what we're going to do now is actually come up and just pull out a little bit come up and just pull out a little bit can you see that pull up and come out a little bit come out a little bit now i made this vegan buttercream and i used a flora block butter it's made in the same way as I make my normal American buttercream, which there is a video tutorial on my... Now, we're going to just continue going round now. So, going up and pulling out. Up and pulling out. Oh, that one's not connected. So, make sure you connect to your cupcake at the bottom. Up and pull out. Now, you can have short ones and long ones. So don't worry if they're not too tall or... That's not connected. Pull up and come out. Just start bringing the petals out. If they flop over, just push them up. Just give them a little push. And we're going to fill the whole cupcake. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually probably going to put this on a bit of a fast speed. I'll just continue to go round. That's not connecting. So make sure you connect to your cupcake. Try not to do them too long. Now that's fell over, so we're going to pull that one off. I don't mind, just spread it on. Always tighten your bag. Make sure you tighten your bag. It improves the flow of buttercream. And obviously the heat on your hands. Are a little... It's a bit cold in here today. 
so I am having to really give it a good squeeze. So I just keep going round until the whole cupcake is full. Like so. Like I said, you don't have to have massively long petals. You can have short ones. That's not connected. That's not connected. I think worry if you don't get any connecting. It's just like I said, my buttercream's gone a bit too cold. Stop and tighten the bag. You can see the flowers now beginning to form. So we just keep pulling up. Sorry, I'm leaning on the table, which is making the camera wobble a little bit. I might try and change your hand in a minute because. These do actually make your wrist hurt, but they're a good flower for, um, for bouquets. They do look really pretty. That's not connected. So I'm just going to change hands. See if I can um, just connect and pull up. Make sure you connect with your cupcake at all times. So press down. And up, down, up. So you just keep going round. But some people actually pipe these and say they're dahlias, but I think it looks more of a chrysanthemum. So I'm, that's why I'm calling it my my version of a chrysanthemum. A lovely little addition to your bouquets, or even if you're boxing them, they look nice. Going round, all the way round, hands fell off. I'll change hands again. <clears throat> right, okay. Just slowly do it, you don't have to rush. Could even just start instead of going right round it's easier to turn always turn the cupcake as well you'll find that um useful because otherwise if you don't turn the cupcake and you just just twisting your hand with the piping tip then you will end up in a bit of tangled trouble can see it's quite effective little flower. I'll just stop and tighten. <clears throat> just keep round and round. Doesn't matter if you've got short ones, long ones, skinny ones. Flowers are not perfect. This is a good flower to practice um, your piping skills. Always make sure you connect the cupcake like I'm doing there. So connect and pull up, connect and pull up. And that's now nearly full. Coming up. See how pretty that is. I'm stop. Always tighten your bag. Like my um, piping tips just got a little bit dirty. Always have a um, 
a wet wipe around just to wipe your pipe and tip if you get a bit of too much buttercream on there because it can end up pulling your petals off oh, I've got a little hole now coming to my bag and there you go from there you have a pretty chrysanthemum now if you like um, piping flowers and you'd want to see more content please subscribe to my channel also make a comment um, press like um, hit that notification bell for um, any more tutorials um, and then you'll be notified straight away when I've uploaded um, thank you for watching and thank you for your support.